click subscribe and bell icon to get regular notifications. Hi, I'm Dr. Sunil Dashipali. I'm an orthopedic joint replacement and a sports medicine surgeon at Ishoda Hospital Somachiguda. Today we are going to talk about the shoulder problem. Whenever you have an injury, sometimes you feel that your arm is not lifting up and you worry if you have got a paralysis. The simplest thing is, after the fall, try to move your fingers and your elbow. If you are able to do that, that's not paralysis. It's only to do with the shoulder joint that you are unable to lift it up. The reason being, when you have the muscle that is torn in the shoulder joint, this, if you see, these muscles will help the shoulder joint to go up and down. If these are torn, then you are unable to because it's disconnected. A lot of people are worried that they are unable to do and they get they are worried that they got paralysis, which is not true. Now, when to get the surgery done? See, majority of this can heal without surgery. The first and foremost thing we do is if I suspect a rotator cuff tear, we usually do an MRI scan to see if, if there is a tear. If so, is it a partial tear or a full tear? When I say partial, only a portion of this is torn. So we don't have to operate, you just let it settle with some rest and it will heal on its own. And even though a complete tear, if it's in position like this, I just keep rest and again we don't need surgery. You need surgery wherein there is complete tear and the muscle is going to come back. So in those scenarios, we need to have surgery done. Now, as uh, we discussed earlier, if we don't have surgery, if you can see, gradually this muscle is going to go back. So there is nothing stopping this bone to sit it down. So gradually it goes up. So essentially it goes up, up, up till it moves, meets the, the clavicle, the, sh the shoulder blade, the bone there on the top. So it touches there and it starts to drop. That's called acromion. So you get arthritis and any movement is very painful, causing a lot of sound. Now, there is an English proverb saying, a stitch in time saves nine. Simple as that. If I'm going to stitch it in time, it's going to save a major disaster. The reason being, once the ball goes, starts to move up and touches the top bone, we can't do anything except for doing a technically more challenging operation. It's called a joint replacement, which is called a reverse shoulder arthroplasty. Now, if you see, this is the ball and socket like this. In those scenarios, we have to reverse and put the ball there in the socket here, so the, the shoulder doesn't move up. This is a successful operation, but as I said, we want to avoid it at any cost. And I see a lot of people coming around to me asking like, to treat without operation. Like we discussed earlier, if it's cut and it's not moving out, and if there's a partial cut, we don't usually need surgery. Once it, we know that it is torn and it's going to move, there's no point in waiting. The reason being, when once this is uh, muscle is torn and it's starting to move, you, you leave it too long, it's like you know, you are holding the tent. If I hold the tent too hard, it's going to give off. Similarly, once it is torn and it's moved back, I try to pull it and stitch it. It won't be as good repair as the initial stage, number one. Number two, once you have the initial injury, everything is raw. So you stick it back like Fevicol, it sticks. Whereas if you leave it for months together, it becomes rough. And it, we have a lot of what is called scar tissue. We have to clear all that, stick it back and then stitch it. Even though we do the best possible treatment, sometimes the healing might not be better. So my suggestion, as soon as you have an MRI scan, suggest surgery, please go for it. Now, as uh, we discussed, this is a keyhole surgery. The beauty is you have three or four small you know, keyholes which take one stitch later on. So, and you have a brace and you are up and out by the evening. So, suppose we operate in the morning, by evening you are out and around and the next day you should be home. If the pain is more, usually you take another 24 hours to stay in the hospital. Usually these type of keyhole surgeries are quite safe, but still there's a chance of infection, bleeding, and you can have some nerve injuries whilst doing the surgery, and failure of the operation. When I say that, the, see, the aim of the operation is to stick it back. In spite of best stitching and best methods being performed, 
if the tissue is not strong enough or if your bone is not strong enough to get it stuck it might come off okay and there are rare chances that the surgeon might also have done a problem wherein the stitching is not proper in those scenarios also it can fail so the chances of this failure is about 5% we if at all there is a problem we'll be able to sort it out for about four patients out of the five and there might be one or two patients in 100 that you know you can't help it much yes like uh, i said if it is done at the initial stages the chances of sticking is good and you should be able to get full movement and you should be able to do almost normal activities in life and usually after stitching we used to, we'll give you a brace for six weeks so that the the muscle is not under pressure so you can give it some time so it heals nicely and then after some period like about two three weeks we get to move your elbow and shoulder to some extent at six weeks we take off the brace and get you to do all the exercises we go in stepwise fashion at two weeks there is something called passive exercises at four weeks we do active assisted and at six weeks we do active exercise so this is stepwise so that there is not much force on the repaired area and we aim to get 100% result with that not all rotator cuff injuries need surgery and as we discussed before the ones that need surgery please go for it even you are 80 still we have operated on a lot of patients who are 80 plus the reason being now the longevity in India has increased significantly and you want to be independent imagine unable to lift your shoulders you can't even comb your hair you can't even wash yourself and clean yourself you have you're not self-made you have to depend on somebody which probably you might not like it's a simple operation and the healing rate is very good unless you are a smoker and you take regular alcohol these are the two things we suggest and in uh, people having diabetes again the chance of uh, healing is a little bit slower apart from these uh, regular co conditions we suggest you to have surgery irrespective of the age unless you're not fit for anesthesia i hope you recover well